Well, it actually said on the government website and on Google this, this library was open, but apparently now it only opens on Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. It's Friday now. Um, yeah, it's closed. This is the Keswick Library. I don't know if the one in Penrith has got weird closing times as well, but apparently this one, you got a pre-book using the PC now. And limited to 45 minutes slot. Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Well, I just got a bus ride to here. I believe Hal Vellin's up there. I've walked up there a good few times. I've even camped at the top of Hal Vellin at one point and at the bottom at Red Tarn. But this time, I'm walking along this way. There is two tarns up this way. But I think I might go up the river way because I just get the feeling that in this sort of weather there's going to be loads of people walk it, uh, walking up to the tarns but along some random river I think it's going to be much more peaceful for camping ah oh, man so yeah that is probably Hulvelin up there and I am going up this way so again another view of Hulvelin up there somewhere I guess it's the top of there and um, yeah, as I said, I have actually walked up there. I think, believe there's more than one route going up, if I remember. Um, both are done with big backpacks. Um, but it's going to be heaving up there with people. So I am walking up this river, not the way I'm filming now. I'm going upstream. I'll be camping, putting the tarp up somewhere along this river. So it's supposed to be a clear night again tonight. So the idea is to point the camera over in that direction. Hopefully those lights in the house won't be too bright. And you'll get the people coming down the uh, Hovell in this side with the head torches on. And it should be able to come out quite good on the time lapse with the stars as well. Can't see anyone at the uh, top at the moment. I'm filming from behind me from where I'm walking because uh, I've just walked from because the sun's shining right in front of me the way I'm walking. But take that view. How about living down there, eh? It's by a main road though. Well, I haven't seen anyone off this path so far. I've never been up here before. I'm very sure of that for a change. I can actually see someone paragliding right at the top of the that Halvelin range there. You probably can't pick it up on the GoPros right at the top to the left. What a view you must have from there. Hey, okay. Good day for um, hang gliding I guess with the thermals it is really warm. Not much wind. Well I'm really enjoying this uh, new route I haven't, I haven't personally done before. It's always good to do something new rather than the same old hikes, famous hikes of the Lake District. Brilliant walk. So I'll carry on a bit further until I find somewhere to camp. Right, I found myself a spot by a river, mountain river, just coming down the pass. And in the background, you've got a view of Halvelin up there. It's Hull, the top of Halvelin. Uh, so I'm hoping tonight I can get a star lapse on well, not only the stars, but um, people's head torches when they're coming down this mountain at night time. I mean, it's Friday, so I presume there'll be people walking at night. There usually is in the lake, uh, the, you know, the famous mountains. There's usually quite a few, even this time of year in Easter, um, when it's cold at night. But, uh, so I've got the tarp set up, found an ideal spot by a stone. And then I used the walking stick at the back. I've got the British Army Gore-Tex bivy in there, as before. Yeah, I'm going to fill up my pan with um, some water for the hot water bottle later. Could have camped just here by the um, actual river. It's got some nice wind protection, but it wouldn't be as good view of the stars at night and uh, Halvelin over there. I am going to shut that gate, by the way. I'm going to just take you over the bridge a minute. I'm going to go back and shut it. Look at that. 
filled up my pot with water. Okay, I'm going to shut that uh, gate. Yeah. Wow. I wasn't really happy where I was camping before. This this just was not high enough. It was just so uncomfortable, it was unbelievable. Just like I could feel the wind being be channeled down the uh, valley into uh, the tarp. There's no wind protection. I think the wind could possibly pick up tonight. And I'm not I can I don't think I'll sleep very well with the wind blowing through the tarp, to be honest, especially if it's going to go below zero. I mean, it's cold enough to dump the wind, so um, I just put the tent up, the tarp up here in the bivvy, uh, because um, there's a wall here by the uh, river, some wind protection, might be a car, <laughs> so there might be people walk past in the night. Uh, who knows? It is a weekend coming up, but so far I've only seen two runners, two people on this. Path and they were running, that was it, the whole day. So it's not a busy path. I'm not going to tell you where I am, I've got a guess. It was as cold last night, but it was cold. It was probably about 3, 2 Celsius. Um, still used a hot water bottle. There was no rain, no wind in the end. There's no wind now, not even a breeze. Um, looks clear sky still. We've got some good star laps last night, clear skies. Um, I'm just about to put the tarp down. I'm going to go down, get the bus to Keswick, then the bus to Penrith, charge my stuff up at the library if it's open, hopefully it's open, it's supposed to be. If not, possibly go to Oxenholm train station, I, I vaguely remember there's charging points there, uh, quite a few in the waiting room, but whether that's open or not, I don't know. After that, possibly heading towards Coniston Way. Right, that's all packed away, and um, as you can see, everything's picked up, no rubbish left behind, and now I'm ready to go to get the bus. Right, not too far to get down to the uh, the bus stop now. Still no wind, lovely uh, morning. Hopefully it stays like this. I've got no phone signal at the moment, so I don't know any updates to the weather report. Last time I looked though, it is supposed to be okay-ish, I think. I'm not too sure if it's supposed to be another clear night though. But um, it's not going to be too bad. This is really boggy along here. Oh, that stone. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? It's a glacier stone. So just went past this car park and apparently um yeah you can't stay here the night if you're in a camper van guys. Yeah. So it's this car park apparently. I had a look in this if there's any bins but they don't have any. 